main event of the evening. Anthony Smith, Glover Texterra. I was absolutely shocked at the way this fight played out, honestly. I was shocked the way the first two rounds were going. I was especially shocked the way the last three went. I was shocked the way it ended. I was just shocked from start to finish. I got, yeah. I this mean, fight did not go the way I thought it was going to go. No, not the way I thought e- either. I mean, it's just shocking to me because we've seen Anthony Smith go deep into mm-hmm. rounds, to yeah. championship rounds even. Yeah. For whatever reason, though, I just, it, it was a completely different fight. And in my question to you is, do you think the the home burglar or the home invasion like do you think this all played into it like with john jones talking shit to him on twitter do you think any of that was in the back of his mind going into this fight because it's it didn't seem like the, I mean, let's keep in mind anthony smith just beat uh gustafson not too long ago yeah that that's a, a top contender in the light heavyweight division and in glover Teixeira, i mean god so impressed. I mean, we're so going to be impressive. talking about anthony smith but we really should be talking about Texterra now because this mm-hmm. is what four in a row Let's he talk looks, about Texter first because he, he won. He great. Yeah, yeah, and he won. Uh, but, man, I was completely shocked. I did not see this. I really thought, like, I, I did pick uh, Anthony Smith unanimous decision, mm-hmm. but I could have saw him putting Glover away early just because he's older, man. You yeah. catch him. But he he got hit with some shots in the first two rounds. Yeah, he was. He, his chin is very impressive. Very. Very impressive because I, we've all seen him get knocked out before. Mm-hmm. I don't know how many knockouts, I don't know how many times he's been knocked out, but I know it's happened. Yes. So, and plus his age, his chin tends to deteriorate with age. You know, just fighters get older. It's easier yeah. to knock him out. You know, there's, there's there's examples. But, man, Anthony Smith was dropping bombs. He some was. fucking haymakers right on his chin, and he was just eating them like they were absolutely nothing. nothing. Still marching forward mm-hmm. like a zombie. Well, not only that, but uh, Glover's... Glover's ability to move and, and, and dodge, I just, I could not believe it. Yeah. His head movement was uh, was uh, tremendous, I mean, for his age, because that's a tire, tiring thing to do, and he was just dodging, and I don't think any of those uh, punches, some of them did land flush, don't get me wrong, but not a lot of them. Yeah, he was rolling like, with them very well. He was rolling really well. well with them. Yeah. 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 Very impressed with him, because... Man, let's just like the, the so and the first two rounds essentially was all Anthony Smith. Yeah. But besides the end of like the last two mm-hmm. minutes of the second round, Glover fucking turned it on. Yeah, because that's when that it, eye thing happened where they thought it it was an eye poke, but it was a it was a punch. And mm-hmm. Anthony Smith wasn't complaining about it. Mm-hmm. I thought that was a little confusing in the commentary. At first, they kind of made it seem like he was like, "Whoa, hey, are they going to stop the fight?" Mm-hmm. And then it was like, "No, okay." Oh, and then we the, dick the dick punch. The dick punch. The dick punch. That was. Beautiful uppercut straight to the balls. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if only that was a legal shot, Glover. Uh-huh. That would have been nice. But, <laughs> wow. I mean, that took about for a minute. Uh, well, more oh, than course. a minute. That I mean, took that's about gonna, for a while. That's going to do damage to mm-hmm. you and as it a was, man. And that was like, like as hard that. as he could punch, too. Yes. <laughs> like right to the cup. Fuck, that's got to hurt so bad. Like it's it's got to hurt God. worse than just getting hit in the balls, I would Probably, think. Probably, yeah. Fuck. With a cup. Maybe even a steel MMA cup. Sometimes mm-hmm. they wear those. Or it's a real carbon one. I don't know. But... Shit, man, that was so hard. Just that dick punch alone was hard to watch, let alone the last three rounds. <laughs> like, yeah. But when it was it was wild because Paul Felder and DC were talking about this during the second round, how Anthony Smith was just putting on an unbelievable pace. Yeah. An unbelievable like he was just constantly throwing and hit. Well, and his coaches wouldn't shut up and the they corner. were freaking out. Every single time it was like uh you know, uh, jab, 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 cross, you know, and it's just mm-hmm. like, you're going to tire your fighter out, man. Yeah. And DC brought that up yep. uh, it, during the commentating yep. where he was like, hey, like, if you're going to keep calling that out with your fighter, he's going to keep throwing punches. Yeah. And he's going to, he, and he's going to tire himself out. Mm-hmm. And that's exactly what happened. I feel like by the time the third round started, not only was he rocked because at the end of the second, he was gassing yep. and then Glover saw that. And that's when he knew, okay, it's time to fucking attack. And yeah. he started landing bombs, getting on the inside real easy once Anthony's footwork was really slowed down. So at, at the start of the third, Glover just knew it was his fight because Anthony was just exhausted already. Like, dude, it's a five-fucking-round fight, and you're exhausted you starting the third. Bit. Like, this is yeah. bad. And the second that the second the third round started, I was like, oh, no. 
this is not going to be good. And boy, was I correct. Yeah. It was not good for no, Anthony Smith. He was getting fucked up for three and a half, for two and a half rounds. So what What do you think, where do both fighters go next? First off, where does Glover Textera go next after this? Well, fuck, I'll tell you where Anthony Smith is going. Yeah. Fucking home to relax and fucking sleep for about 12 months. Take some time off. Yeah, he, need, like, yeah, he needs to take, take some year time off. off. Yeah, yeah. After honestly. that, I mean, he had a bro- broken or- orbital, broken what, nose? Mm-hmm. He had a broken, I think the <laughs> orbital bone broken the third. Yeah. In the whole fourth round, he'd got, the fourth round, let's talk about the fourth round, he'd get touched once and he'd fell. Mm. He just fell instantly in pain, balling up on the ground. And the whole time, I'm just like, what the fuck? Stop this fight already. Yeah. Just stop this fight. It was it was insane. So I'll, I'll bring up a question that has been uh, posed to many people when we're talking about like who's more to blame. Who do you think's more to blame, the referee or uh, the cornerman? Oh man! Because you would I, ask me this earlier, and I, I don't mind. I don't mind answering either. But I think bring up this question. I, I think it's mainly it's both. It's both. I, I believe they're both just as guilty as each other. I mean, really? I, yeah. I was going to play this Chael clip, but I think we're going over it right now. I don't think we have to. Fucking, I just think, I think they're both, I think the ref should have stopped it in the fourth. Glover's landing big shots. At no point was Anthony going to fucking get up. He wasn't getting up. No. Glover's laying on top of him, just landing big shots. But it was just, I think Glover's a little bit at fault too because he wasn't hitting him consistently. But think about, again, think about all the things uh, that is entailed for a referee to do. The yeah. referee's not sitting with them for 60 seconds mm-hmm. after every single round. The cornermen know the fighter better than the referee will ever know the fighter. Period. End of discussion. Yeah. If, if Knowing Anthony Smith, you know he's going to die on a shield. Yeah. His nickname is Lionheart. Obviously, it does not matter. I mean, that's like the most Rocky Balboa shit you could possibly have for a nickname. Yeah. But when he's telling you, hey, my teeth are falling out. Yeah. That might be a sign that, hey, um, our fighter's not in this. Maybe we should throw in the towel and and call it a day. Well, apparently, Mark Montano responded to that and said that uh, Anthony has veneers and they fall out all the time in practice. So that's... Probably a regular okay. occurrence. Okay, that there could just go. be you an get excuse. That. Okay, but that okay, that's fine. But could you not see based on your fighter period? I yeah, mean, that's, a, that's a, if that's it's a, obvious to us. Yes, it needs to be obvious to the coaches. Right. And at no point in that fourth and fifth that I think Anthony had a chance to win. No. He wasn't going to land a power shot and no. knock Glover out. And it was just, it was just, it was unnecessary. Mm. It was hard to watch. And yeah, I, I do think, like I said in the last episode. That boxing culture of fucking throwing in the towel needs to come to MMA. It does. It needs yeah. to because this is not the only time this has happened. It's right. happened many, many times. There's been times dudes have even gotten fucked up for three rounds in a three round fight, and then the last thirty seconds of the three round fight, the dude gets KO'd viciously and is fucking twitching on the ground, right. like lost years off his life, and you're just staring at the corner, going, "What the fuck are you doing? Mm-hmm. You just you just essentially let your guy die. Yeah. Like what the fuck is wrong with you? You should be fucking put in jail for that shit. Like. You Almost. just can't. This is well. This is what the ref is for, though. Yeah, like, but this I, is what I, the ref is for: is to protect the protect the fighter from himself. And the corner men are just as cocky, just as fucking shithead. Like, I don't know how. I don't really know how to put it. They're just as macho as the fighters half the time. Watch. Uh, going back to that fight, though, there were so many times Glover Textera could have ended the fight with more strikes, but yes. he decided to keep going for a submission, and, 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 and that's where it makes the referee's job a little bit it's harder. So difficult. And it's Anthony harder. Smith was moving. Yes. He was fighting back. He yes. was trying to do something. And and credit to uh shit, I'm forgetting his name. I'm forgetting the ref's name. He's 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 a good guy. Yeah. He, Herzog. Jason yes. Herzog, that's who it was. He's a he's a great guy, super nice fellow, and he's had he's had mistakes before. He's had great stoppages before. And at the end of any round, he was coming up to Anthony. Hey Anthony, are you doing okay? Mm-hmm. And he's watching Every Anthony yeah. really close. So he was doing his job. So it's just it's just tough. I mean, I mean, we saw a great stoppage earlier when the Drew Do- in the Drew Dober stoppage. Yeah, we did with Herb Dean. Yep. I feel I honestly feel like if if Herb Dean had been in that fight, he would have stopped it in the fourth. Yes. So, and I, and I don't mean that to talk shit on Jason Her- Herzog. He's a great ref. Mm-hmm. You know, he's had he's had he's done great great jobs in the past. It's just this is one that it's he just, needs to he needs to look at. Yeah, it's just really hard to 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 call a fight as a referee. I mm-hmm. think it, it should. 
we should make it easier for corner men to just call the fight. Yes. There should be no more stigmatism around throwing in the towel. Yes. It doesn't make you a bitch. No, it, it doesn't. Makes, it makes live the fight another day. Exactly. You're a professional athlete. Don't yes. you want a long career? Yes. You have to have that. Sometimes it's just not your day. Beatings like that shorten your career uh -huh. and just like, let's be real. It shortens your fucking life, man. Oh, absolutely. It, that's years off your yeah. life. And that's and that's just brain damage and trauma, CTE. That this is, it's unnecessary. It's just, and this is this is the sport of like this is this damage. Like this you, is the sport of hurt. Yeah. This is the hurt business. You should bring up uh, what you told me earlier about Glover and Anthony. Oh, or what yeah. was so, said? So Glover and Anthony uh, were speaking to each other in the fourth round. Glover goes, "I'm sorry, Anthony. It's just this is business. This is business." And yeah. he goes, "It is what it is, bud." Yeah, it is what it is, bud. I you told me that off air. Right before we started the podcast, and I couldn't believe it. I was like, mm -hmm. "Dude, is that like a legit source had that?" You pulled up the video, and you can clearly hear them saying that. Yeah. As uh, Glover Textera is on top of Anthony Smith, and I'm yeah. like, "Oh my god!" So uh, one thing I didn't tell you is apparently these guys are already friends. Yeah. And so supposedly Anthony Smith, he this isn't his first stint in the UFC. He got mm -hmm. cut by the UFC. He had a fight in Brazil, got knocked out or got submitted something, ripped his knee up and, and tore every ligament in his knee and fucking only got 20 grand, only got paid his show money. And he's sitting in Brazil at the airport and has no idea what the, where the fuck he's going. Right. He can't read Portuguese. There's no one speaking mm. English. And Glover Texera sees him, walks up to him, translated for, for him, got him on the right plane, made sure he was in the right area, shook his hand and helped the man out. Like the man had just got cut by the UFC, yeah. had his knee ripped up and all that shit. And he just... That's the kind of thing that people really remember. Yeah. You know, so these guys really did not want to have to hurt each other. And it makes sense because I had no prior knowledge of that before this fight happened or during. I didn't find out until today that they were actually friends. Yeah. But it makes sense looking back at that fight why Textera kept trying to submit and, and, him and he was instead of trying to finish instead him. Instead of just going for 10 yeah. consecutive shots, which, like, let's be real, if he would have just peppered him with 10 shots, it didn't have to be the hardest shots. Nate no, Diaz didn't. just pepper him 10 mm -hmm. times. Herzog's going to stop that yeah. fight. It's just so, it was just, it, it was, it, everyone was put in a difficult position, I feel like. Yeah, everyone. For sure. Everyone involved. N not Both fighters, the refs, the corners, everyone. Dana White, Dana White was asked about this, and he goes, yeah, I think that should have been stopped. That definitely should have been stopped in the fourth. I was shocked that the corner even let them go back out in the, f in the fifth. Like, yeah, he didn't think Anthony was going out in the fifth. So That's getting picked up. Oh, sorry. Yeah, that squeakiness. Sorry. Um, um, yeah, so it's just crazy, dude. It, it, it was it was not the way I wanted my night to end watching no. that shit. It, was, it, was to, it couldn't have happened to a better guy. I know, you know, that's the thing that sucks. I think that's the thing that sucks the most is, like, Anthony Smith is such a good dude. Yeah. Uh, it, it's just, yeah, it's it's unfortunate it happened, but this is this is the world of MMA. This is the world of uh, combat sports. Yeah, you know, it really, yeah, it is, it is what it is, as Max Holloway always says. Yep. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs>